terrific, Bob. And you're watching WNS News. New details have emerged on the attempted abduction of Hanako Arasaka at the Arasaka-sponsored Dashi Parade. Early accounts first reported that the assailant... Yo, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to another Cyberpunk stream. And today, we are doing some Ponom Spalmer mission. Of course, romance mission, guys. And it's called... Yeah, with a little help from my friends. Just friends. Okay, so... Here. That's a copyright. Uh, slippery again. No much sleeper. Look at it. It's, it's the tires look like a flat line. Okay, the wet road. Look at it. You can't even handle the steer. Back to El de Caldos. Wait, is there any? Okay, rocky right. see what you got only the bat only the bat
Okay. Time to... Can I use this car? No. Of course, it's... Can't. No. Hmm. There's no car in here. Damn. I can't. No. The rest will stay here in camp. I want patrols every half hour. Reporting directly to me. Are we preparing for a visit from Biotechnica? Or a fourth corporate Hulk. war? The Raffins could surprise us at yep, any moment. This is v, you're, not you're here. What is he doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend? To do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh-huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of you. Do you think I'm that- You really think you can forbid Pan Am from doing anything? Trust me, no point. She'll do whatever she wants. No, she won't. Not if she plans to stay in this family. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance of what? Rotting up the job we came here to do? Get the sense this fight's grown stale. Come on, put some feeling into it. No. This discussion ended long ago. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Is this basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes, a craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this Biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back and drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob also on board. And you plan to grab the Basilisk how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd helped just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else? We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? We'll make better use of it right here in America. Did you try to get Saul on board? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the Basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack okay, from behind and get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job, Sunshine. Mm. Okay, I'm in. Hmm, okay. Thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy, too? Screw you. But, are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't notice a thing. 
Okay, okay. Forget I even asked. Yep, another copyright strike. What's next? These eyes are too wise. I seem to see through your disguise. Likewise, you are wise. But the reign of terror. These eyes are too wise. I seem to see through your disguise. Likewise, you are wise. Look at it. Is it rock? Okay. Let's go. He's gonna notice you've gone back at camp. Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. The better to make a good second impression on the biotechnica suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed, they would not. Raffins, what about them? You expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How's that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. You don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. Yeah. Took adjustment on my part, too. Though, uh... Never was completely alone. You had someone? A true friend. Jackie by name. You would have liked him, actually. Jackie, I remember that. We have arrived. If you like it so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the basilisk go on its way. Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Sol would be on board with that. Are we ready? Okay, the Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Plan to move this thing how exactly? It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. Talk to nomads. Optional. Ah. Well, hello there. Have you come to make yourself useful? I've never seen old tech like this. You know your way around it. How'd you learn? From books? Just wait till you see what's inside the signal tower. They use punch cards. Punch cards! <laughs> Can you believe it? Honestly, prefer Pan Am to punch cards as a topic of conversation. <laughs> Let me guess. You don't really know why you're here, do you? Pan Am asked me for help. Mm-hmm. She came back to the fold, sweet-talked Mitch and the rest over to her side. But still, she calls you. Interesting, isn't it? <laughs> I 
What are you two doing? I'm finding my inner peace before the storm. While Teddy is just being dead weight. Love to join you. Respect your efforts. Self-respect breeds self-discipline. Once you have both, you have real power. Any of this goes south, you know Pan Am will be the one to pay. Do you see us hanging her out to dry? Do you see Saul letting us off the hook while Pan Am takes the fall for everything? I'm starting to like this kid, Ted. He thinks he cares about Pan Am more than the girl's own family. I think you want to use Pan Am to get rid of Saul. Listen, V. You know what makes a good leader. Not some cliched adages, that's for sure. The ability to overcome adversity, solve conflicts within the clan, trounce efforts to undermine your authority. Meaning you're putting Pan Am through the nomad school of hard knocks? Breeding a good clan leader? Pan Am? I was thinking of Saul. Pan Am is a goddamn pain in the ass. It just happens that's exactly what Saul needs. But in your shoes, I would look for another way in first. No. My, that was quick. been fond of trains and the stations where so many tracks converge <laughs> junctions yes those when you see them from above you feel free like you could set off in a thousand journeys all at once perhaps more simply hopeful okay here we are Sort of Stone Age control panel. Let's find the cards first. Nada. Okay, it's here. Nada. Here. 
here to Clark's. Got something. Good job. In the reader? Here goes nothing. It worked! Come look! Little engine that could. V. I wanted to speak with you. V? Is this a bad time? What did you want to talk about? I know this may sound foolish, because I asked you to help me, but why are you doing this? Because it's important to you. But is that all? I... Sorry, that sounded worse than I intended. Listen, V, I... I'm sorry. I'm not very good at this. Speaking of my feelings and so forth, and I would not want to cut this up. Well, that's a start. The thing is, I usually act before I think. Uh-huh, noticed. I know, but I also need impulses to act upon. When I do something spontaneously, I feel I'm being honest. Yet with you, I prefer to play it safe. Why is it any different with me? Because I truly care this time. Yet I fear I'll do or say something foolish and be left alone in the desert. I would rather keep you close, if only as a friend. Yep, that's uh, a touch pen until next time. Try following that impulse. Try following the impulse next time. Okay. Well, in any case, you've been warned. All right. Let's rejoin the others. Okay. Then Soul will tax me. Yes. Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. Soul. Yep. No idea. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. Hurry up and wait then. Yo, 
you're acting spooked. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, oh, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ugh. Was it someone I know? No. Scorpion. You came home from the war, head full of new ideas, and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. Gonna try and get some sleep. Okay, it'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Growing kind of cold out here. We show over? Not true. But this is nice. Catch some shut eye with me. I'll just lie here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. Is that another area of your expertise? You got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? Uh, yeah. You do? Oh, dear. That means there's a major leak. Who's major? Good night, B. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? Let's ride, V. to speed follow the train side
What's next? Yep. The train's leaving. You'd better move. Legendary components. And... Okay, let's go. Ready to roll. I'll take care of this myself. Fuck! For now! So it begins. What's the meaning of this? Exactly what you see. The Basilisk. All I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am! You can see them from miles away! You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too. Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine! Go right ahead! In that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. But you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! What the hell is sounds here? As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. Got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was ten years old. Seems to still be in fine working order. Meet me again. All you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will. So you better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care. Okay. Mm, I need this car. But it's nice to see. No. There's my Porsche. Can I use your car? Nah, bro. Johnny is Porsche. What's next?
Rocky Ridge. Okay, leave the area and give some skimming like 24 hour. And I'm Palmer. Hey, calling. the basilisk. It's ready. Would you like to drive it? Sure. Be there soon. Fuck me. It is awesome. <laughs> so I hear. Queen of the highway. Queen of the highway. Corvos haven't shown up in person to report the loss? No, I think we managed to keep them off our scent. We left the trucks with the big Corpo logos down by the rat Which was almost as much fun as leaving a bag of flaming dog shit on the road. Get terbang dulu, nggak bisa, bukan GTA, Pak. Made it look like it just came back from a Corpo war tour. Nice touch. Everything's fine, clean as a whistle. I always wanted to take one of these suckers for a spin. Which is exactly how all those naive gawks landed at the front. Didn't even need to be recruited. They just showed you the tech. Go on, hop in. Everything is set. Okay. So Basim is literally a tank. Right? It's a tank. So we're having a dine on a tank, right? Anybody get this thing up and running earlier? Maybe you Everything ought to... Everything is dandy. Give me a moment. Nah, bro. Oh, yes! It's not the latest model, but Mitch and Bob did what they could. What do you think? Nice and cozy in here. You steer directly from your seat. All you have to do is jack in. What, no knobs, buttons, blinky doodads? No, none. The impulse runs directly to your cerebral cortex. In a sense, the basilisk becomes an extension of your body. It's like a mystical oneness. If it's so mystical and shit, why the co-pilot? Extra support? I'll tell you once we're a bit further from camp. We'll practice. Okay. If you want full functionality in an engagement, you need a second person to handle sensory overload. One pilot steers, the other handles the gun. 
It's oddly pleasant. You'll see. What and then what? Okay. This will do fine. A dry run first. I'll disconnect for now. Doesn't need two pilots? You won't be steering and firing. Are you ready? Yeah, I can. Pan Am, is this, uh, as designed? Neural synchronization doesn't happen at the snap of one's fingers. It'll be over soon. There. See? Okay. Just don't understand what you meant. Warm up. Okay, it's a, it's like a flying tank. Soft ride. Seems a boat. All right, I can see you from the board. Just so her along the line of turbines. When I say so, we're right or left before the last one. All right. Get in Basilic's positions in here. What's on the menu? Don't get excited. The Basilisk is a cargo ship by design. But it should still be a good time. Alright, blast. said about impulses impulses mm -hmm. well watch out now what's happening hijacked in our nervous systems are now linked right basilisk pilots working in harmony that why i'm feeling everything doubled it's sensory feedback our systems are intertwined would you like to try it out Okay, that's this I is the this is the time. Can you feel that? <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Uh, Maybe I'll be able to focus on combat. It's probably not always this intense. How about this? Now it's a dirty job, right? <laughs> nice and slow. I see. Nice and steady. Yep. No 
Yep, in the middle of the... We're almost there. have to sit through a few more because from this day forward you will lead this family by my side i will what i wish to do this properly but fine have it your way i was wrong you were right that's the truth may it never happen again but i i i made a mess of so many things you said i know but i changed my mind you risked everything for this family not even knowing whether you Welcome the next day. Okay. Okay. Well, I... Many things will have to change. Yes. And to start with, we need to leave this place. Quickly. We can't wait for Militech to find us. Of course. I will prepare our route. Congratulations. Terrible choice. I voted nay. Thank you. Thanks. I need to cool down, I think. Will you come with me? Yep. day. I feel as if I've barely evaded a rapidly approaching train. Pretty close. I don't know if I could have done it without you. Come on. No, I'm serious. We all owe you. So you can count on me all the count us. Always. <laughs> Good to know. Nobody's behind the bar. That I like. Beer? Lemonade? Pick a beer. beer. To happy ending. our little escapades me too on the other hand though who said this one was our last v look around look at them they could be your family pan am what do you stay in camp 
Join us. Here comes that damned butt. But I can't. Not right now. I have to finish some things first. All right, V. I shouldn't drop bombs like that on you right now. I just thought, eh, forget about it. Think it all over. I pro. No way. V. Pan Am. I. V, relax. Everything is okay. How do you feel? Where... Where are we? You passed out. Completely. We took you with us. Uh, where? We moved camp. You are safe. Everything is under control. You ain't dying yet. V. You have to tell me what is happening. The blood. You were out for hours. What's wrong? It's nothing. I'm fine now. Fuck. So I can see. Will you tell me what is going on? Or will we keep playing this stupid charade? You know, Johnny Silverhand. Yes, they sometimes play those oldies on the radio. Why? That's just it. Johnny's alive. He's sitting in my head. He's what? Am, am I not... Is this some sort of strange metaphor? Long story. Got a job, fucked it up. Now, Silverhand's personality construct's sitting in my head. Bullshit! Yeah, well... He's not too happy about it either. Turns out we don't really mix. And it's getting worse. You are not joking. Just trying to live with it. Survive, actually. It's certainly not doing wonders for your health. I gotta go. I'm feeling better, really. Wait. I will go with you. I thought I heard that voice. Hey, What's Mitch. Finally. Uh, what about we were worried. Took good care of your ride. She's over there. But you're not leaving us already, are you? Is everything okay? Whatever, asshole. And to you. Is anything wrong, V? Much better now. Thanks for your help. I'm glad to hear it. Thanks. I'll stick around for a bit. Make yourself at home. Remember, our offer still stands. If you need help, the all the Caldos are here for you. And that, at least, we can agree on. If you need anything, you know where to find us. Want me to walk with you? Yep. I know this area. Back from the old roots. We're really safe here, though. For now, yes. Militech does not venture this far. And our vantage points really are much hey, better. Welcome back to the land of the living. About time Sleeping Beauty decided to join us. Hey there.
But you know, everything here, it is temporary. All of it. We will soon have to decide what comes next. That's my Porsche. And it's Basilisk. V, back to what we were saying. I will not even pretend to understand. I don't think it has even sunk in yet. But I am serious. How can I help? Honestly, not a clue. But there has to be something. Someone who can... Remember Hellman? He's the one who created the personality construct tech. That's why you wanted to get him. But it was a dead end. Now I have to figure out where to go next. You'll find a way. And once you do, let me know. I will help. This whole family will help. Saul was not joking. You understand? Thanks for everything. For being here for me. Yep. Not a kiss. Take care of yourself. And let me know. Well, just please keep in touch. Our life off the road. Oh. Rob Eard. Okay, that's our romantic story to the Pan Am, right? I don't like this a storm. And it's maybe it's, it's like a, a nearly the end of uh, the main mission. Okay, thanks guys for watching and we'll play again tomorrow for uh, with the Judy Alvarez mission but it's not a romance or a romance scene because our character is male and if you if you want to make a romance scene uh, to Judy Alvarez you need to change your gender to female but you can't do it at the middle of the game so thanks for watching Tomorrow we'll play again on a side mission or maybe the main mission, right? Thanks for watching. See you at another stream, guys.